John, your joints. They tell you it's autoimmune, do they? Yeah, they put me on steroids and they do all sorts of stuff, don't the they? Taken off it, but I still have like residue of joint pain and like I've never had any problems before. But um, yeah, so every day I've got to reactivate my hands, elbows, knees, and feet. Did you ever smoke pot? Yeah. So, what did you do when you were smoking pot? In your digestive system, in your bones. I got lazy. I ate. I certainly wasn't. Um, I certainly wasn't in touch with the Lord at all. In any way. I understand. Yeah. So, um, so I'm just going into your past. Okay. And a difficult relationship with your mum, yes or no? Yeah. It's okay now, but yeah. yeah but I'm looking at you when you're growing up. A difficult relationship. So. Mum left home when I was 12. You left home because you were 12. When I was 12. Your mum. Yeah. Why did she leave home? She split up with my dad. Strike the infirmity. Strike it, boy. Your mum had some problems. My parents had problems. The parents split up. You're 12 years old, you've got pain, emotional pain that you don't know how to deal with, and it leads you into smoking pot, okay? And alcohol. and alcohol, okay? And you can't deal with this pain, so you're trying to medicate it, and you're smoking pot, and a spirit comes into you, okay? that begins to torment your mind. Yeah, you're right, I believe that so. Begins to torment your mind, um, manifests sometimes to you, like, like hallucination type thing. Yeah. And this spirit comes into you and destroys your health. Eventually, yeah. Eventually, yeah. So that's why I said at the beginning, they call it autoimmune. But it started with the breakdown of your family, the hurt, extreme emotional hurt, the tearing in your soul. You didn't know how to deal with it. So then you turned to alcohol, you turned to marijuana to medicate the pain. You end up with this spirit that messes with your brain. Come out, now. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not have him. Come out. I'm talking to you. Out of him. Now leave him. From his feet, from his joints, from his spine. From his mind, his brain, his throat, his eyes, every part of his body. I'm speaking to you, demon. Come out of him. You spirit of pain, emotional pain, soul pain. You spirit that gave him pain and torment. I'm commanding you out. Now that's the power of Jesus Christ delivering and healing your body. Also arthritis. Healing your body. That's the power of God going through you. He's operating on your soul. He's operating on your body. What does that feel like? You can't explain it. I feel a heat going through you. It's the power of Jesus Christ. Do you feel that yet? 
this. Sorry? Like a column. Like, like a column. Of bits and needles. It's the power of Jesus Christ setting you free and healing you, sir. Thank you, Lord. Just going to touch you with my shoe. The anointing is going through you. I believe after this, you're going to be fine. You're going to be completely fine, John. God loves you. After today, you're going to serve Jesus Christ. What do you see, John? I'm back. I'm back. You're back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> what does it mean, you're back? I'm back. I don't know. I love you. Come on. Thanks, Lord. Oh, my God. I thought I believed before. I thought I believed before, but now it's unbelievable. Oh, God. Come on, John, hop up. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> Anthony, come and give him a big hug. He goes to my church. <laughs> Watch out for the camera. Sorry. You know, it's only Jesus that causes real men to cry and hug. <laughs> Amen. 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 Okay, John. Okay, you had pain in your joints and stuff. Show us what the Lord has done. I don't know. I feel pretty good just now. Move. to go for a jog again. <laughs> Not just now, but soon. <laughs> What's happening? <sighs> it feels amazing. <laughs> it feels amazing. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. You know, the Holy Spirit took the pain of the divorce, the pain of, of because that was the root of all your problems. Yeah, yeah I, I, I felt like I'd figured that myself. I just didn't know how to get it out. And then... You delivered a bad evil spirit that came through the smoking and you're free, you're healed. So my advice to you now is to live by the standard of God's word. Amen. Absolutely. Unconditionally. Unconditionally. <laughs> <laughs>